Hello everybody, it's Jimmy again, back for another review today, tonight, or whenever it is that you're watching this video. Today I'm talking about a band that has been around since 1975. They got like three names now, Riot, Riot 5, or Riot V, whatever, however you want to look at it, um, is up to you. As I said, formed in 1975, they changed their name in 2012 after the death of founding member Mark Reel. Um, the band decided that they wanted to honor Mark's body of work by just having his work under the Riot name. Uh, and now they've continued on, of course, and added the V or five or however you wanna look at it um, to honor the work that they're doing now. They've just released a new album called Armor of Light. It's out on Nuclear Blast Records. It's got 14 songs, it goes for one hour and six minutes. I'm gonna have a bit of a chat about it today. Opening track is a track called Victory. It has a, to my ears, it has a huge Iron Maiden feel to it. It sounds to me a lot like the Trooper. Uh, I'll be interested to see if people agree on that when they hear that song. It's a little bit too Iron Maiden for me. It's a bit too close to Maiden, especially vocally, I think, and the way he's delivering it. I think that's what it is. Anyway, it doesn't matter though, because after that song, this album absolutely flies, mate. It takes off. This is power metal, speed metal, and it's bloody fantastic. The cover art, I must say, behind me, it is absolutely brilliant. Not enough bands put enough effort into that cover art, I don't think. Uh, that one, this one, that one, is really cool. Now, I love the last uh, Right album, Right V album. I'm just going to call them Right V, okay? Just to make it easy. Uh, I love the last Right V album, Unleash the Fire, from 2014. Um, this album, I think, is another level to that one, though. This is better. Brilliant heavy metal. I think all metal fans should check this album out. Now there's a guy on drums in this band called Frank Gilchrist. I don't know how long he's been in the band for, but he is an absolute monster player. And on this album, it's no, no different. He's crazy on drums. He sound, it sounds like there's an octopus playing drums, no shit. This, there's just arms and legs going everywhere. He is a magnificent drummer. Todd Michael Hall, he's got to be one of the best metal singers in the world, I think, at the moment. And once again, he is outstanding on this album. I didn't realize, apparently, he's like 48 or something like that. You listen to his voice, it sounds like a young metal singer. He's doing really, really well. Um, for the most part on this album, these songs are fast, powerful, melodic, and they're in your face. And we'll give you a taste now. Yeah, fast, powerful, in your face. Then a song called Set the World Alight comes on and it changes things up a bit. Uh, it's a mid-tempo rocker, really. Great song. Second half of the album, it's less about speed and it's more about groove and feel. Um, and I really like it. If you are an old school heavy metal fan like me, you're gonna enjoy this album. Here is some more music right now. To put it simply, this album is packed with huge riffs, killer solos, soaring vocals, huge drums, lots of double bass. Um, this is a real throwback to the glory days of heavy metal with a, a modern sound and vibe. There's even a saxophone on this album uh, on a song called Caught in the Witch's Eye. And I was really excited to get to the last song on this because it's got my all time favorite Riot track re-recorded called Thunder Steel. Um, I could do an impersonation, but I won't. Um, that is the last song, and uh, it's a great song. This album, definitely one of the albums of the year, uh, and it shows 
that these bands like Judas Priest, the, the Priest album from earlier in this year, these old guys, you know, they still know how to blow away most of these new bands. They, you know, they've got the experience, they've got the knowledge, they've got the style. They know what metal fans expect and what metal fans want, and they deliver. It's a fantastic album. I have taken one point off. I gave this a nine out of 10. I've taken one point off. The reason why is for, there's a bit of the Maiden ripoff, as I said at the start. And lyrically, it, it's a little bit too metal, too traditional metal, um, if you know what I mean. It's sort of Manowar-ish in the lyrics, in the lyrical content. Here's another taste. Yeah, so lyrically it's a little bit too, you know, traditional metal swords and I live for metal and all that sort of stuff. I don't mind that, but whatever. Um, so I took a point off for those two things. Um, but music, musically and vocally, it is an amazing album. Uh, as I just quickly turn my page, so professional here. As I said, I gave it a 9 out of 10. My standout tracks were Burn the Daylight set the world alight, but really every song on this is fantastic. If you love heavy metal full stop, you need to listen to this album because it is one of the albums of the year. I've got no doubt about it. This band just keeps releasing great albums. Like I said, since 1975, mate. They've, had, they've actually had 28 members go through this band in 43 years. That's a lot of members, um, but you know, they've had a lot of bad luck, this band. They've had a few deaths, um, over the years and, and a few things go wrong for them. So kind of understand it. Anyway, Riot, Riot 5, Riot V, whatever you want to call it, Armor of Light, out now on Nuclear Blast. Get on it if you like heavy metal. It is a fantastic album. Subscribe to the Hard Rock Show uh, YouTube page, to my YouTube page, Jimmy Vanzino. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything. It's all over the joint. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, there'll be more reviews soon. Cheers. <coughs>